Ha Sung Kim a single and a double. And that's a base hit through the left side. Myers cuts the bag at third. Throw by Joe. He tied out at the plate. What a brilliant throw from Connor Joe. It took a perfect throw, and he supplied a perfect throw. Greatest Rocky ever throwing one right on the dot. There's a there's a plate there for Myers to slide into, and you have a right to catch it. Here's the announcement. After review, the call is overturned. We have a home plate blocking violation. The run scores. Runners will be placed at first and second. San Diego retains their challenge. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised at that. I really am surprised at that. I don't know what Brian Serving could do different. He, what is he supposed to, like, move at, into foul territory? Yeah, Completely. He's got to set up where the ball is. I mean, you're seeing the end of it. I don't I love don't, this. I don't, I don't love like it. this call at all. He, see, he, you know what? He's giving him the back corner, and you saw the late shuffle, right? Well, Buddy's getting upset. Yes, he, he should be. If you remember back yeah. last week, Diaz was in a similar scenario where what was he supposed to do as a base runner? Truck? A catcher, and it went against the Rockies. Oh, Buddy's, Buddy's hot. And if he could run right now to Park Avenue, he'd be hot at the ruling from the umpire crew in New York. The old trick elbow. Christian Yelich just got thrown out. Craig Council is coming out to argue. Christian Yelich was barking a little bit after he got called out on the last couple of at bats on pitches that are down in the zone. And Yelich is going to go get a little piece of Jerry Meals, too. And Craig Council is trying to protect Christian Yelich from a suspension. He's already been thrown out. Christian Yellis didn't like that last call that Jerry Mills rung him up on, very similar to the last pitch that Woodruff threw that was called a ball. And now Craig just got tossed out by Jerry Mills as he was trying to protect Christian Yelich. Been a tough day for the strike zone for Jerry Mills. That low strike has been awfully inconsistent. It has. But they always get the last word, don't they? Well, Yelich is out of the game. Council is out of the game. Strike three called on the outside corner. And that was right there. Strong inning for Harleen Garcia. Now, I don't know what was just happening here. Some words were exchanged. Umpires are over there with Gabe Kapler, and Gabe Kapler has just been thrown out of the game. The umpires started coming after Harleen Garcia, and Gabe Kapler came up out of the dugout to defend Garcia, and, uh, and now he's just furious. So Kansas City indeed has busted it open with a big inning, a walk. Two singles and a home run. And Cora is going to get thrown out of the game. Alex Cora is going to run on that. Remembering, too, that although it was Welke who made the call, it was upheld in New Jersey. But the umpire is watching it on video. So the umpires have to make a call. See, I. I think why he's so mad is because the third base umpire, Gabe Morales, called it fair but not a home run initially. Correct. And Welke overturned it. How can he overturn it that far away? So in the end, three run homer by Salvador Perez and Alex Torres tossed out of the game. 1 1 to Abreu. In the air right hand side Adolis Garcia moving toward the line to get underneath. Oh he dropped the ball and ends up down on the ground. They're saying it's an out that he caught it and lost it on the transfer. Now that's an interesting call for Will Little over at first base. Garcia did put it away 
Robert to third and we'll see again. Let's see if Garcia actually squeezed this ball. Well the best part of this is that Luis Robert did tag up and when he did fumble the ball he took off. Oh uh, that's not on the transfer. I didn't I, think I, so. I, I, don't know, I don't know if you can take a look at that but if you can that would be a worthwhile challenge. Watch it again right there. I mean he doesn't have it long enough I don't believe I, I this think is that, challengeable yeah I think that's going to be runners at first and third you would think uh, yeah I'm with you I don't think he's right squeezed there, that I would say right there you can see as he's moving the glove back that ball rolled to the top of the glove and then rolled out the catch on the field and stay at third no catch runners at first and third if I'm reading lips right yep after review calls overturned it is not a catch the runners are replaced at first and third base. Great job by our crew finding those shots and getting those angles for you. It's first and third and one out. Here's one more look at it. Now that's a good angle. <laughs> I would I would have to assume it'll be an error anyway. And now Woody he wants to get a little better explanation on this. And I don't know exactly what what he's going to be arguing here. If it's the placement of the runners, I don't know if there's a whole lot there, right? Because for me, the fact that they leave Robert at third base is probably a break. Yeah, I think they got it right. Uh oh. Yeah, we got a little extracurricular now as Ray Ragsdale has had some words with Will Little. And I, I wasn't sure if I saw Will Little signal as if he was ejecting somebody. It might have been Rags. So yeah, Rags. He's had enough. Yeah, it looks like he's out of here. He was doubled tonight, but struck out looking twice. And Derek Shelton's been ejected by Edwin Moscoso. He has been hot all night after a check swing that was appealed on O'Neill Cruz at second base with the three umpires tonight. And Ron Culpa, the crew chief, came sprinting from first base. Yeah, he's pointing at second base. Took the bat out of my guy's hands. Yeah, and once again, yeah, he, he's upset because I, we talked about it earlier. When you know you don't have that fourth umpire, you, know, you don't usually have that called against you. O'Neill Cruz was called on a check swing on a very borderline call. I mean, it went against the Pirates. ERA in baseball. There's a broken bat in the hole, knocked down by Mateo around third, and here comes the throw. We got to play at the plate, and they got him. My gosh. Mateo got on his feet, got it to Chirinos. How good was that? And there's going to be, there's going to be a little argument here, because I know what Derek Shelton, the skipper for the Pirates, is saying is like, my guy didn't have anywhere to slide. And that is the rule now that you have to leave a path for the base runner to slide. But, but you have the to argue, catch the ball. Well, too, that's right? right. And the argument for the Orioles is going to be, listen, we got to be able to go catch the ball. So they're going to look at this one. But how about the athleticism by Jorge Mateo? Dives to the backhand side, realizes the runner's going home and just slings it towards home plate. And there is Robinson Torinos with an outstanding effort. Goes to the ball, catches it, and makes the tag. And Allen Lee, where to go? Here we go. Um. So here comes Brandon Hyde, and he just got thrown out of the game. He said, don't come out. Brandon j didn't say anything. He took a couple steps and he threw him out of the game. Now, this is crazy. Couldn't you question information? You know, yeah, he just wants yeah. an explanation. I, I don't even think he was arguing. He wanted to hear what they ruled. This is the kind of stuff to just aggravate. I mean, sometimes umpires just don't have a feel for the game and what's going on. Brandon Hyde simply wants an explanation. He wasn't irate when he came out of the dugout. He wanted an explanation. He gets tossed before he gets 10 feet out of the dugout. To left field. Merrifield setting up for another tag. Beckham firing home. All the way to the plate. Out at the plate. What a throw from Beckham in left. 
They're going to want to take a look at this and see if Sanchez gave him a lane, but. They will challenge it. And John Schneider coming out to talk to home plate umpire Marty Foster. See whether Sanchez gave him a sliding lane. A little double clutch there. Toronto is challenging the home plate collision rule and the out call at home plate. So they got two. After review, the call on the field is overturned. There was a violation by the catcher. The runner is safe. Toronto will retain their challenge. This isn't going to take long. I thought that Sanchez in folding his left knee would allow the call on the field to stand and Rocco is vehemently arguing why if the throw is on the plate where is the catcher supposed to be and of course Rocco's arguing to the wrong people yeah there's nothing these guys can do but it, it, this is a this is a, a loophole in the rule of, of replay is supposed to be definitive. There's nothing definitive about reviewing whether or not the, the catcher blocked home plate. And Gary Sanchez asked to stand there. That's where the ball was thrown. And there's nothing that Marty Foster or Alan Porter, the crew chief, can do other than listen. To the rage from Rocco Baldelli. A run will score. There are two outs, and the bases will be empty. But I honestly don't know what Sanchez could have done differently. Is he supposed to stand in fair territory and reach far to his left to catch a throw? Rocco is still getting his money's worth at home plate. Well, what a throw by by Beckham again watch his left leg he's standing on the plate yeah he's standing just in front of it and that move there that one and one here we go I would think John that he's been thrown out because he can't argue balls and strikes so he's going to get his money's worth now. Two season has been that. That it always uh oh we've got an ejection from the Rangers bench and it was Chris Woodward and he's going the wrong way because he's coming back out now. To get his money's worth from Jerry Meals. That's interesting I was just having this conversation earlier today about Woody and. How he has somehow managed to keep from boiling over. And I, I almost don't understand how he's been able to do it, but he finally popped. I think he's frustrated about the strike zone. Obviously, that's a, a difficult thing when it comes to arguing. It looks like this one is definitely off and, and off by a good amount. And judging by Woody's body language, I think the frustration did boil over because it seems like it. He hasn't been thrilled about a few of the previous pitches. That's a base hit to right. Here comes the speedy runner around third. Soto's throw is in time for the out. Washington is challenging. The call of no violation of blocking as well as the tag. He was actually standing on home plate, Nola was. By the way, if he just slides straight in the base right here, he's safe. He Probably. tried hook sliding. If he slides straight into the plate, he's safe. So we have a Hyundai challenge. When you test drive a new Hyundai, you'll find not only does Hyundai have your back, Hyundai also looking out for your pocketbook. See your local dealer today, discover why. The longer you look at a new Hyundai, the more there is to like. Great swing, by the way, by Victor Robles, yeah. taking it hard the other way. After review, 
It was determined that there was a violation of the home plate collision rule. The runner is safe. The batter is at first base. Bob, you can't boom. I know, I know. Bob Melvin has been thrown out of the game before Paul Emmel could turn his microphone off. You can't argue replay. The moment he comes out, he was out. It, it, this is the second time that I think that the Padres the last week have had an issue at home plate. Now, by rule, this is correct. This is terrible for baseball just to chew. It's not a good play, but by rule, that's benefit. That's her up. That's her leading. Great. At, by the way, great at bad note. Shout out to Victor Robles on this one. Well, we heard Paul Emmel say Bob, and then he had the presence of mind to shut off his microphone. Right. And, and this this right here is Bob Melvin and Paul Emmel having this discussion like, hey, I'm not mad at you. I am mad at New York and what they're saying right here. Guaranteed. Now the Padres have to go back out on the field. The run is charged to you, Darvish. And the Nats have the lead. So this is the lane right there that's already created. If he started like that, he's fine. Get up. up the middle. This is into center field. And Jose's on his way with the White Sox lead at 5 to 4. Feet that Abreu got. AJ Hinch is going to go back to his bullpen. And he's going to go back and talk with Jerry Lane, the crew chief. And he's upset about the call that wasn't overturned at second base without question. Yeah, but it's not their job to do it. Jerry Lane made the call. There's a guy, a bunch of guys in New York. That decided what the call would be. So you're kind of wasting your time if you're arguing with the guy at second base. I think AJ's explaining, look, I'm not upset with you. Jerry thought he might be. Yeah, I guess AJ Hinch could argue this. He's the one who made the original call, and it wasn't to fit enough to, to overturn it. Had he called him out like AJ Hinch thought he was, then perhaps that would have ups that would have stood as it was called as well. But either way, Hinch makes the move, and he brings in Andrew Chaffin. AJ Hinch doesn't want to get tossed on his mom's birthday. I can promise you that. <laughs> Mom Becky turns 68 today, and he says, "Come on, walk with me. I want to stay in the ball game." Yeah. And he just got tossed. Reynolds just got tossed. Ryan Reynolds is ejected by home plate umpire Roberto Ortiz. In the ground. They're looking for help here. There's uh, Barnhart saying he caught it. Home plate umpire said it hit the dirt. He doesn't he's, have to ask for help, but he's not asking. Yeah, he wants to. He wants to meet. He wanted to look at the ball to see oh if there's any dirt boy. on it. Now he's going to try and get some help. Let's see right here on this replay. That was clearly caught. Uh, it, yeah, it was. Yes, it was. It looked like it. We'll see if he sees it. He caught it deep. That's yeah. He was out. They, here comes Tito, and he's going to blow his stack. He is had enough. He is had enough. Yeah. Oh, that's. He's been mad since the first inning of this game.
You knew he was going to get his money's worth because he doesn't do that very often. But he almost rung him up. You know what? He 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 he, he started to come up. He, he was coming up. Right. And he almost pulled that elbow back. Ooh. Oh, you thought for a moment Corey Blazer appeared to flinch. That's been a strike a couple of times tonight out there. But it's. Hit to right. Varsho back at the wall. It's off the wall. And it kicks away from Varsho. His throw will come in. It's cut off. And the Giants have the time run at third. Troy Ravello sticks up off his chest here. Yeah, I think he's telling him that he thought that pitch to Estrada was a strike. I think. Well, my first instinct was he was arguing the previous pitch to Estrada, but that would have probably involved a pretty quick ejection arguing balls and strikes, so I'm not quite sure what that conversation was about. Center field. Thomas back out of here. This game is over. Well, the Diamondbacks were a strike away, and it's a giant win. They've taken the first two games of this series. Crawford walks it off. It's two to one, a final. And Tori Lavello is really hollering at Corey Blazer. Brian Snitker ejected for the first time this year, arguing balls and strikes. Austin Riley called out on a pitch that was out of the strike zone to end the Braves' third inning. Brian Snitker ejected, arguing balls and strikes with home plate umpire Will Little. And it has been a very inconsistent strike zone for Will Little here in the first three innings of the ball game. Word on off again, and Bregman takes one. Just called third strike. Bregman thought that was going to be ball four. He has an argument with Ramon De Jesus at the plate. And that'll do it for the Astros in the first inning. Astros dugout was not happy with the strike zone for Ramon De Jesus, and they gave it to him between innings, and he would eject somebody from that Astros dugout. I believe it was Alex Intra. Yeah, he's not in the dugout right now. Here's a 2 2. And that is in there for strike three. And Xander is upset. Here comes Cora out of the ball game. Well, it's rare to see Bogey that upset and like flip the bat. Upset indeed as he is called out on strike three. I mean, that is wildly out of character for Bogarts. One spot where you feel comfortable putting the ball. And if you miss that spot, my goodness. Wow. That's called a strike. Arenado thought that was a ball. Brad, you win. But I agree with you. I thought it'd be Ollie too. We'll pick up a lottery ticket as well. I'm going to tell you, partner, great call on that ejection. Some of your best work this weekend. Well, something you just know's coming, you know. Tough. 98 away, you want to be on time. 
And if he hits it, it's a double. A's have just not gotten much help down there at first base this afternoon. He's here in the seventh. Ty France went around. So one and one the count to France. Marcotte is he's all over somebody and I think it may be Bill Miller. I think he's looking at Bill Miller. Yeah, that's exactly who he was looking at. That's exactly who he was screaming he threw at. Him out. Marcotte is out. He's heading back to the clubhouse. So it was a quick ejection. And I think. Well that's was that not called a strike. Well, that's they, they did call that one a strike, but Mike Marcazzi just had enough of it. Would have been with 72 RBIs. The umpires are telling Pete Maki, the pitching coach, that when they came out to discuss things, that might have been a visit. And so, if that's the case, this is the second visit. And oh then, boy! And then Sanchez has to be lifted from the game. That's unusual because and unfortunate for Minnesota. There's nobody warming up in the bullpen right now and they had no intention of taking Aaron Sanchez out of the game. Baldelli's trying to explain he went out there to try and break up a little discussion between the two teams that it wasn't a visit. And I have a tendency to side with Minnesota on this one. No I'm with Rocco Baldelli. I agree. Everybody came out. You could have put a visit on anybody in that ball called it. One of the worst calls he's ever seen in his baseball career. This one's going to rank right up there for Rocco. He is fired up and he's going to be ejected. Todd Tishner, the crew chief, throws Rocco out of the game. I don't think the Astros were even asking for this to be the second visit. I think no. the umpire crew took it upon themselves. No, I completely agree with you. I got to commend Rocco right here, though, for extending this a little bit, allowing that bullpen to get loose. That was very unfortunate. So Sanchez clips Altuve, and he's still talking with Altuve a little bit. He clips Altuve with a two seam or a sink three two pitch. And oh, strike no. three. Call third? You got to be kidding me on that pitch. Drury's been ejected. And we'll see here how he, bad it really is. He rang him up, Don, because he gave the strike three call. That pitch was way off the plate, low and away. It's not a swing. Unbelievable. So Drury ejected from this game. Padres will need a new DH. Oh no. No. Yeah. And JP. He just got fined. That's what that point is for. Well, that was not a strike. You can understand JP's frustration. And JP just got run. And now he's going back for more. Somebody's better get out there. Here comes Scott. And he's picking up the pace. Manny Acta is there also. And that was a bad call. And JP, understandably frustrated, not just by that call, you'd have to imagine. But that was the capper. JP has been run from this game. And after seven, the Nationals lead at one nothing. It's a bad call. Third strike. They got to get Arenado out of there. Now it's too late. He's been ejected. Strike three. Ooh, the curve is in there. Strike three called, and Winker doesn't like it. A curveball at the top of the zone. Karinchak is thrilled. He leaps toward the dugout. Bieber's loving it. And Winker's just been thrown out of the game. Scott Service now in the face of Dan Merzell. The Oakland umpire. Winker's been ejected. 
And he struck out a high curveball to win the eighth. And now service pleading with the home plate umpire as well. Scott service getting animated. He's been thrown out. Manny Acta breaks it up as Karinchak, along with some help from Dan Merzel, upsets the Mariners. Three straight strikeouts to end the eighth. Winker and Service have been tossed. And even three and one would not throw him a fastball, so that was obviously the conversation. Joe Adell was a huge at The last time I knew he was going to throw him a fastball, was a huge at bat. In the left, a base hit. That's going to tie the ball game. Gallo will throw behind the runner. Got to play at second. And safe as the. No, he came off. He's out. Came off the bag. You're trying to say, wait a minute. He knocked him off the bag. 3 2. Morrell <laughs> caught looking. After the walk, Rogers strikes out three in a row. Welcome back. Well, Manny Gonzalez ringing up Christopher Morrell in a pitch that was off the outside edge. Take a peek. Not egregious, but not a strike. Here it is in 3D. Yeah, I, I guess relative to a couple of those fastballs that were so far off the plate that probably looked pretty good. To Manny Gonzalez, but clearly a ball, and then Mike Napoli got in his face and ultimately got ejected. David Ross getting him out of there. Napoli tossed from the game. Well, Mike mentioned it. Brandon Crawford was going to have to walk by the third base umpire, Blakeney, and uh, they got into a conversation, and Brandon Crawford's tossed. And they had a conversation going, and all of a sudden, he gave him the heave ho. Unbelievable. But that is, I mean, that is the one thing you worry about. It, when you have a third base coach and your dugout's on the third base side, you disagree with the call, you will say something going out to your position. And Gabe Kapler lit up. I mean, he just lost his shortstop here in the third inning. Yeah, shortstop who's got some ownage on the guy out on the mound, just to set the record straight. He didn't go around. I know it's a hard job being an umpire, but you got to have a little leeway. Here. So there's a shift in the defense. That means that Wilmer Flores will go over to second base. 